Welcome to episode four of the Financial Edge with me, Rishi K. These are your top BFSI stories of the day, courtesy 94.3 Radio 1. Customers may not have to purchase the entire strip of medicine when they need only a smaller quantity, as the government is now holding discussions with pharma industry. A suggestion to adopt perforation technology to cut the strip was made to the industry. There was also a recommendation to print the manufacturing as well as the expiry date on each strip. Go First has informed its employees that their salary for April will finally be paid to them before the carrier restarts its operations. On email, Go First Vice President and Flight Operations, Captain Rajit Ranjan said, the CEO has assured us that the salary for the month of April will be credited to your account before the commencement of operations. Some bank branches ran out of cash and temporarily halted the exchange of 2,000 rupee notes on the fourth day of the exchange of the notes. More than anticipated demand during the first half of the day in branches led to the shortage of 500 rupees and below denominations. Customers waited very patiently till replenishments came in from the treasury chest. Finally, Meta India's legal head, Amrita Mukherjee, is among the top executives who have been let go in the recent round of layoffs by Meta. Mukherjee has been with Meta for 10 months, and before this, she was legal head at Hotstar. Meta slashed jobs across its businesses, across its units, this particular month. Those are your top BFSI stories of the day on Financial Edge with me, Rishi K. Please do let us know what you think, and if you have some questions, reach us on our socials. This episode was filmed on the 32nd floor, Tower Number 4, One International Center, Parel, Mumbai. One International Center is powered by Nucleus Office Parks. Till next time, it's adios. 94.3 Radio 1.